Is there advice you can give to young people today um, besides reading uh, Russian literature at a young age um, about how to find their way in life, how to find success in, in career or just life in general? Uh, I, I just, my own belief, it may not be very deep, but I believe it. I think you should follow your dreams. What, and you should have dreams and follow your dreams if you can, to the extent that you can. And uh, we spend a lot of our time doing something with ourselves. In my case, physics. In your case, I don't know, whatever it is, mm -hmm. machine learning and this. Uh, uh, we should, yeah, should have fun. What was, wait, 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 dream, follow your dreams. What, uh, what dream did you have? Because the, the, this... Well, well, originally I was, I, because you didn't follow your dream. I well, that's, you're, you're I changed to be along the way. I was okay. going to be, okay. but I changed. What that, happened? That was th what happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I read, I decided to take the most serious literature course in my high school, which was a mistake. I'd probably be a second rate writer now. And, uh, could be a Nobel Prize winning writer. And uh, uh, the uh, the book that we read, even though I had read Rus Russian novels, I was 15, I think, uh, cured me from being a novelist. Destroyed your dream? Yes. Cured you. Okay. What was the book? Moby Dick. Okay. So why Moby Dick? Yeah, why? And so I, I've read it since. And... It's a it's a great novel. Maybe it's as good as the Russian novel. I've never made it through. I, I lost. It was too boring. Well, it was too long. Okay, your words are going to mesh with what I say. Excellent. And you may have the same problem at uh, older age. Maybe that's where I'm not a writer. <laughs> it may be. So the problem is, Moby Dick is uh, what I remember was is there was a chapter that was maybe a hundred pages long, all describing this why there was Ahab and the white whale. And it was the battle between Ahab with his wooden peg leg and the white whale. And there was a chapter that was 100 pages long in my memory. I don't know how long it really was. Uh, that described in detail the great white whale and what he was doing and what his fins were like and this and that. And it was so incredibly boring, the word you used, that I thought, if this is great literature, screw it. Oh, uh, fascinating. Okay. Now, why did I have a problem? I know now in reflection, because I, I still read a lot, and I, I read that uh, novel, um, you know, after I was 30 or 40 years old. And the problem was simple. I, I diagnosed what the problem was. I That novel, in contrast to the Russian novels, which are very realistic and, you know, point of view, is one huge metaphor. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. At 15 years old, I probably didn't know the word, and I certainly didn't know the meaning of a metaphor. Yeah, like, why do I care about a fish? Why are you telling me <laughs> all about this yeah, fish? Exactly. It's one big metaphor. So reading it later as a metaphor, yeah. I could really enjoy it. Uh, but the teacher gave me the wrong book, or maybe it was the right book because I went into physics. And so, uh, well, but it was it was truly, I think, I may oversimplify, but it was really that I was too young to read that book because, not too young to read the Russian novels, interestingly, interesting. but too young to read that because I, I probably didn't even know the word and I certainly didn't understand it as a metaphor. Well, in terms of fish, I recommend people read Old Man in the Sea, much shorter, much better. <laughs> Still a metaphor though, so. But you can read it just as a story about a, a guy catching a fish and it's still fun to read. Uh, <laughs> I had the same experience as you, not with Moby Dick, but later in college, I took a course on James Joyce. Don't ask uh. me why. I was majoring in computer science and took a course on James Joyce. And I was kept being told that he is widely considered, by many considered, to be the greatest literary writer of the 20th century. And I kept reading, like, I think, so his short stories, The Dead, I think it's called, was very good. I, well, not very good, but pretty good. And then Ulysses. It's actually very good. It is very good. I mean, The Dead, the final story, I, yeah. still rings with me today. But then Ulysses was, I, I I got through Ulysses with the help of some cliff notes and so on. But uh, <laughs> And so I did Ulysses and then Finnegan's Wake. The moment I started Finnegan's Wake, I said, this, this is stupid. 
this is that's when i went full into like um i don't know that's when i went full kafka bukowski like people who just talk about the darkness of the human condition (laughs) in the fewest words possible and without any of the music of language um so it was a turning point um as well i i wonder i wonder when is the right time to do the to appreciate the beauty of language like even Shakespeare, I was very much off put by Shakespeare in high school, and only later started to appreciate its its value in the same way. Let me ask you a ridiculous question. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, because you've read Russian literature, let me ask this one last question. Uh, I might be lying. There might be a couple more, but what do you think is the meaning of this whole thing? <laughs> 